Can we talk about gaff tape for a second? <laughs> we got to talk about gaff. Hear me out. Hear me out. This dude on Facebook posted that he used this gaff tape and it left this crazy residue on the, um, on the, uh, on the floor. And this is bad people. That's a bad, like it was like, it was a huge, it was probably like six feet long, however long he, cause he taped the whole cord. You know what I mean? Uh, cause you see where like where the cord was in the middle. It's like the whole thing. And like, he's like literally talking to the venue. Like they're like, you know, talking about like, he's got to like hire a clean crew, come clean it or else replace it. Yada, yada. They're like really pissed. Hairy situation, sticky, sticky situation. So this brings up a great point. This is like a simple thing that could really like fuck up your day, fuck up your week, fuck up your month as a business owner, as a DJ. Like this is a stupid thing that like could happen to you at a gig that you'd even charge much money for. It's just like a birthday party or something. And all of a sudden you're out like money. And, and it can get hairy. So I want to give you some quick gaff tape tips. Some quick tips. A little gaff tape tips, all right? Number one, definitely use it, okay? Some of you, you know, you see a post like that with the residue and you're like, that's why I don't use the tape. I just bring a carpet or I just, you know, whatever. I risk it for the biscuit because tape leaves the residue and then blah, 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 blah. So fuck that. I don't use the tape. I disagree with that, okay? Because leaving a residue and having to clean a floor or replace a floor is way better than having a trip and fall, than having grandma die on your dance floor, okay? You don't need that, all right? Grandma breaks a hip and bleeds out. This shit could happen, okay? That's, this, is the, this is the worst case scenario, okay? And I, I literally Googled um, life alert, fall. Fucking <laughs> <Get> pictures. <laughs> like life alert, whatever. But this is the worst case scenario. You can't be having nobody tripping and getting hurt. That's big sues. That's like back pay from my job because I missed work suing. That's, you know, 40 grand in hospital bills suing, okay? So definitely use the tape. But one thing you guys all got to remember, you got to test it out. Test the tape. Make sure it doesn't leave a residue. residue. Put it on your damn floor at home. Have the goopy going ready. Put it on your tile floor at home. Put it on your hardwoods. You know, test it out or just test it at a venue. You don't give a shit about where they're not going to see, test it out somewhere. I put some on the roof of my storage unit because I, because I didn't even put a deposit down for that bitch. So I put some on the roof of my storage unit and I left it there for like a week. And then I peeled it off to see if the paint would peel off, things like that. I did all kinds of tests with different tapes to make sure I would never run into this issue. Cause I heard about it years ago and some dude, literally the venue was suing him for like six grand for a new floor. It's like, no, I got to replace the whole thing. Throw it out. Throw the whole thing out, <laughs> right? So test it out. And then, you know, if you're wondering what I use, I use like the, the, the pro gaff. So like I'll, I have a link in the, in the description. So it's, it's called, it's all pro graph or whatever. That's the best I I've tested. I have no problems, but test it for yourself. Don't, don't take my word for it. But I think that is like the best tape, the tape he used just so you know, actually let's, let's bring that up. Don't buy, uh, Lockport, Lockport gaffers tape on Amazon. Stay away from that shit. And it actually looks legit, by the way, too. So that's what I mean. You just got to test this shit out um, and just be careful. You know, definitely use it, but test that shit out. And then don't forget about the colors, people. Get a brown roll for wood floors so it matches. Get a white roll f for like when you're doing like walls or anything, anything like, you know, it's super white. There's sometimes just white tile floors. Get a white roll, get a gray roll. Obviously get a black. That's the standard. And then I actually like this, uh, this uh, lime um, or not lime, this like electric yellow or whatever. That's good. If you have like a, a walkway and people are stepping over, you can literally stripe it, you know, electric yellow and black. Keep a nice, you know. Make sure it's nice and safe. People could see it, you know, an extra little thing to see just in case so you don't have nobody tripping. But, um, but yeah, don't, don't sleep on tape overall, people, okay? Learn from this guy's mistakes. It sounds really dumb and stupid, like, to even talk about, but, like, I, I, I've literally heard about it, you know? You're just out six grand like that out of nowhere. You, you charge a grand for, 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 the, for the gig, and you get done, and then the venue suing you for $6,000. You're settling out of court for $3,500. I got a guy that can clean it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Scary shit.